Okay, so when we're dealing with simple interest, we're essentially just looking at a formula. And we're going to be constantly rearranging that formula. Okay, so we're going to be solving for different things. So either the interest, the starting value, the rate of interest, or the time frame with respect to years for that formula. So when we're looking at it, the formula that we're looking at is I equals PRT, where I is always our interest. P is our principal. Okay, and the principal is the starting value. R is our interest rate. And it's our yearly interest rate. T is our time in years. Let's write it. In years. Okay. So if I equals PRT, that means that we can use this kind of triangle here to figure out all the other ones. You just cover up what you're looking for. Like if we were solving for P, it would be I over RT. Okay, if we were solving for R, it's I over PT. And T is I over PR. And any letters, again, that are side by side, you're just multiplying them together. Now, our total amount is always going to be our principal, what we started with, plus our interest. Okay, so that's just another formula we need to look at. So for example, um, if we have $700 invested for five years at 3% simple interest, how much interest is earned? So what I like to do is set up this little chart. I always have it at the left side of my question. We're looking for the interest. I'll always put a question mark there first. We invested $700, so that's our starting value, our P. Our rate is 3%. Now we need to always change these into decimals. So we have to divide it by 100, so we get 0 0.03, and our time is five years, okay? So we simply are gonna use the general formula, I equals PRT. We're gonna substitute everything in. So we've got 700 times 0 0.03 times five, and then we're just gonna plug all of that into a calculator, and you're gonna get 105. Therefore, $105 interest. Okay, next question. Same kind of thing. Carrie invested $500 for five months. So how much will she have in total at the end of the five months? So we still need to find the interest. We started with $500. We've got 3.5% which is really 0 0.035. And our time, remember our time's always in years. Well, if we're looking at months, there's 12 months in a year, so this is gonna be five over 12, or like five out of 12 if you're thinking of a test. So then we have I equals PRT again. We have 500 times 0 0.035 times five over 12. So because this is multiplying, what we can do is we can actually just multiply all the numbers on top and then divide by the 12 at the very end. You could do five divided by 12 all at once, but it's not gonna make any difference. So you're gonna get 7.29. So she made $7.29 in five months, which isn't great, but it's free money. The amount that she has at the end though is our initial 500 plus that 7.29. So she has $507.29. Put it there for statement and away you go. Next one, we've got Tom hopes to earn $50 interest. So we know he wants to have $50. He's investing for three years. Well, that's our time. And we know a rate of simple interest is 8%. Well, that's going to be 0 0.08. So what we're looking at here 
is he needs to find what the principal is. How much does he have to deposit now? So that's P equals I divided by RT. Well, we've got 50 divided by 0 0.08 times 3. So what that ends up being is I'm going to do it in two steps. And I recommend that some of you do this um, just because your calculators might mess it up. I'm multiplying the bottom first, and then I'm going to divide. Just make sure that I get it right. So what this means is that he has to invest $208.33. And we put a therefore statement saying that. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And you're going to work on the worksheet for this.